Starting with the smallest, put these four quantities in order. Sounds very straightforward. Starting with the smallest, put these four quantities in order. Here they come. Dessert spoon, pinch, tablespoon, teaspoon. Okay, let's see the correct order first and foremost. Starting with the smallest first. First and foremost, fairly obvious pinch, then D teaspoon, then dessert spoon, and then the big one, tablespoon. That's the right answer. B D A C. Let's see who got it right, but most importantly, of our remaining eight, who got it right in the fastest time? All these got it right. Who was fastest? Michelle Fennell, 5.73. Right, here we go again. Michelle Fennell from Ashvale in Hampshire. She's a childminder. Her sons, Matthew and Daniel, are watching at home tonight with Grandad. Her husband, Kevin, is up there in the audience looking... Um, I don't know what he's looking at. She's just looking sort of oddly at me at the moment. I suspect he may not know exactly what his wife would do with a million pounds. This shy retiring girl here says she would hire Robson Green and the Chippendales <laughs> to do her housework naked. <laughs> Michelle! It's always the quiet one. OK, um, are you all right now? Because you, when you came running up, the first thing that's true this, you came running up and said, I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home. That's why you rang in. No, it's OK. It was I'm never going to be. OK, you've got three lifelines. You know how it works. Yeah. Fifteen questions, three new lifelines, 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. They're only easy if you know the answer. If you don't know them, they're impossible. Use the lifelines. Here it comes. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> PLC stands for Public Limited What? Company, competition, catastrophe, or council? 100 quid. A. 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 It's good, it's right, you've got 100 quid. Right. I see Kevin's relieved already. Good, <laughs> right, you've got 100 pounds. Uh, have a look for 200 quid. You've got three lifelines, here it comes. Complete the title of this Rolling Stone number one hit. Rolling Stone's number one hit, Get Off My Bed, Shadow, Planet, Cloud. Did they say, hey, you, get off my bed? Actually, I don't think Mick says that very often. <laughs> D. You got 200 quid. <laughs> Too young. You've got 200 pounds. Have a look for 300 quid. You've still got three lifelines. Here it comes. Which cricket club is based at Lord's Cricket Ground? MMC, MCM, CCM, or MCC? I haven't got the foggy so I have to ask the audience. OK. Audience on your keypads, please. Want to get Michelle up to 300 quid? OK, A, B, C, or D. All of your keypads, please. All vote now. <laughs> Looks promising. Um, 3% are a bit of a worry. 89% uh, <laughs> are saying they think it's MCC. Can we go with them? No. You're not going to go with them? No. You don't like them? 89% of them and you don't want to go with them? Oh, yes, D, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the planet Zarg, everybody. 89% <laughs> say MCC. You gonna go with that? D. It's good, it's the right answer. You got further proof. <laughs> At this moment, you've got 300 pounds, you've got two lifelines, you've got 50 50, and you've got phone a friend. At this moment, Michelle is 12 questions away from 1 million pounds. It feels like a long way, doesn't it? 12 questions away from a million quid. See what happens in just a couple of minutes. After the break, on more. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Welcome back to the third part tonight of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Before the break, Michelle Fennell was on £300. She's still got a 50-50, still got to phone a friend. 
Still got two more questions before she's guaranteed tonight going home with a minimum of £1,000. Michelle, you can take the money anytime you want. If you go for the next question and get it wrong, well, you would go home with nothing. But it's worth 500 quid. You've got two lifelines. Have a look at it. In which part of Britain is Dartmoor? The West Country? The Lake District? East Anglia? Or the Highlands? Got 300 quid. I'll play for five. Take £300 and do a runner. Uh, 50, 50. I think it's A. It's your choice. A. Final answer? Yeah. It's good. You got 500 quid. <laughs> you got 500 pounds. You've still got two lifelines. You've got 500 pounds. If you went for the next one and got it wrong, you would still go home with nothing. I don't want that happen. Michelle, you got guaranteed £500 at the moment. If you got it wrong, there, you would go home with nothing if you decided to play for the next question. If you get the next question right and you go for it, you will win a minimum of £1,000. You've still got two lifelines. You've got 50-50, you can find a friend. Have a look at it. It's worth £1,000, but if you get it wrong, you would go home with nothing. Take your time. The Queensbury rules were drawn up to govern which sport? Horse racing, boxing, football or rugby? You've got 500 Go 50 50? Find a friend. Go 50 50, please. Okay. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Michelle the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. <laughs> Quizby rules were drawn up to govern which sport A, horse racing is left, and B, boxing. You've got 500 quid. If you go for it, give me the right answer, you get £1,000 guaranteed. You've still got phone a friend. If you did give me the wrong answer, you would go home with nothing. Does B, boxing sound good to you? <laughs> what are you saying to me, Michelle? B. Final answer? Yeah. You're guaranteed leaving here with one thousand pounds. Whatever happens, you've got a thousand pounds. Uh you still got a phone friend. Have a look at it for £2,000. Here it comes. In Goldfinger, what does Odd Job use as a deadly weapon? His hat, his teeth, his umbrella, or his shoes? You got £1,000. You got phone a friend. Goldfinger. What did Odd Job use as a deadly weapon? His hat, his teeth, his umbrella, or his shoes? You've got a thousand pound guarantee, whatever. You can't find a friend. Yeah, I'll have to find a friend. Can't think. Okay. Who are you going to phone? Um, I'll phone Joyce Fernell, please. Okay. Who's she, your sister? Mother in law. Are you, are you mother in law? Good <laughs> strain on a marriage. Ring of the mother in law as you phone a friend. Okay. Joyce? Yeah. Okay. You've got a thousand you've got a thousand pound guaranteed no matter what. If she gives her the right answer, you get up to two thousand pounds. Eight three three two oh one. Joyce? Yeah. Hello, it's Chris Tarrant on ITV who wants to be a millionaire. I've got Michelle here. Yeah. Good news, Michelle's guaranteed coming home with at least a thousand pounds. Brilliant. Brilliant. But we'd like to get some more, please, if we can. We'd like to get up to at least two thousand pounds. Um Michelle, I'll tell you a question with four possible answers. Three of them are wrong, one's the right answer. OK, Joyce? Yep. All right, the next voice you hear will be Michelle's. You'll have 30 seconds to hopefully give her the right answer. Try and get her up to £2,000. OK, all right, Michelle, your time starts yep. now. In Goldfinger, what does Odd Job use as a deadly weapon? His it's... hat, his teeth, his umbrella or his shoes? His bowler hat. That's 100%, is it, Mum? Yeah, Odd Job uses bowler hat. It had a steel rim. OK. <laughs> All right, then. I'll see you soon. OK, love you. Thanks, bye. bye. Love you. <laughs> now. You're going to go for it? You've got a £1,000. Your mother-in-law says he had a hat with a steel brim. Are you going to go for it, bowler hat? Yeah. A? A. Do we trust our mother-in-law? Yeah. <laughs> Has she been a good mother-in-law all these years? Fantastic. Will you still love her very much if this is the wrong answer? Yeah. 
Hey, don't do this to me, Chris. Oh, go on, let me. <laughs> you had a thousand pounds. Thanks to your mother-in-law, you've now got two thousand pounds. <laughs> You got £2,000, you guaranteed £1,000, you have got no lifelines left, but have a look at the next question. It's worth £4,000. If you go for it, get it right, you get four grand. Obviously, you get it wrong, you drop back £1,000. Have a look at it, tell me if you want to play. You can take £2,000 if you want. Here it comes. Which world leader was famous for his little red book? Stalin, Lenin, Mussolini, Mao Tse Tung. Which world leader was famous for his little red book? Stalin, Lenin, Mussolini or Mao Che Tung? You've got £2,000. You can take £2,000 now. Play for £4,000. I think it's C. It's your choice. If you go for it and get it wrong, you drop a thousand. You went to a thousand pounds. You've got no lifelines. Take two thousand pounds away. Play for four thousand for the safe. You are wrong. You drop a thousand pounds. C. You don't sound very confident. C. Final answer. Yeah. Michelle, it's the wrong answer. <laughs> the right answer actually is Mao Se Tung, but you do still go away with a thousand pounds. Give her a big hand, Michelle loses with one thousand pounds, and she can now finally go home.